it's your girl Kyra. And it's your girl Kyra. And, and we're, we're back, back with another, another video. video. Y'all, we've been so consistent. Like, we keep the videos coming back to back, back to back, back. But, anyways, as y'all can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing um, an update on EIU RPWI. Yes, we're gonna be doing an update because people asked us to make another video, you know, asking a certain question. So shout out to Mykea. So on Instagram, she DM'd us and asked us to make a. She watched our YouTube video, and she wants to basically know a couple of things about EIU. So and there's other people too, like who DM'd us asking about EIU. So we're just gonna compile all their questions and just some general stuff that we think they want to know we're gonna put that all into this video because we're gonna let y'all know the nitty-gritty everything that's been going on at this school but well, i have been going on because you know i don't really get mixed but you know you'll be peeping everything people see through this way but we're just gonna let y'all know what it is like going to a pwi like this school in illinois and we're gonna get out to here so let's get right, right into, into the video, video. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with this one first. How is it there as a black woman? Okay, so as a black woman at a PWI, honestly, it's not really that different. You can hang around people that is the same color as you, so you have the opportunity to be around people like you. So it's honestly no difference. You make it what you wanna make it, honestly. I will say if you grew up around all black people your whole life and then you go you then go around Caucasian people and stuff like you never really was around different cultures and then you go to a school that's predominantly white then you're gonna be shell shocked like you're gonna be like what, what the fuck is this you know because predominantly when you walk down the street most likely you're gonna see a different race you're not gonna see just black people so Oh yes, yeah. that is very true. But the only reason why I don't feel like it's that bad for us is because we went to a, uh, a mixed school for high school, so it wasn't that much of a change. But of course, if you go to all black school, it would be different. Yeah, um, also, as a black woman, I would say most of my classes, I am the only black girl in most of my classes, which I kind of don't like that much because I kind of feel like certain topics come up and you know maybe it's on me because maybe i should say when i feel uncomfortable when certain things are said but you know yeah yeah I, I hear it there like i just don't you be feeling like certain things be like i think that a lot of just a lot of people who aren't of color they, they say a lot of crazy things that they yeah. mouth not knowing what the reaction would be which mm -hmm. of course like we we don't have no reaction like we won't say like of course but yeah. It's just like, <clears throat> but I feel like that's obvious when you're going in any environment and you're like the, the eyeball out, it's kind of like, they want to be around you, they want to be around their friends, they're not very welcoming, some of them, like when you're in class, they don't just go to you like, hey girl, you know, yeah. so you have to be out there and you have to yeah. go to people and be like, oh hey, you want to be my partner, like, you have to be like that at a PWI. Like. And definitely me, what, being in um, a science major stuff, there's a lot of people in like, in labs, so you know, you have to work in partners. And like, and like in one of my classrooms, they was like, oh, you have to work with a different partner every week. Imagine some of the same people be working with the same people every week. And I'm yeah. just like, okay. And you know, there's only like two other black people. So it's like, yeah, and they know each other from sororities. Like a lot of the people be in the same sorority and stuff. So that's how they be, I guess, knowing each other. I don't know. I, in my head, when I be in class, they be all going up to each other. I'm like, did, did they didn't know each other before we came in this class? Like, it's giving like, none, they, they don't, just being a black woman in classes, you really have to, you know, open up, cause you're likely gonna be the only black person. You have to waste your opinion a lot and stuff with it. Cause I feel like you be having stereotypes. And I'm just gonna be myself. I'm not gonna try to talk a certain type of way. Like, this is how I talk and this you know, I also think black people humor is very different from their humor. Yes, the humor is like, different. When I'm in class, it's like they be making jokes and I be like, hmm. And they be sitting here busting up laughing. I'm like, what did you just say? Yeah, like, the humor is definitely different. You know, I don't know, it's just something about, we're not going to go They be laughing at the stupid stuff and I'm just like, it's not even it. You can only fake laugh for so long. But anyway, it's not all, I will say it's not all. Caucasian people, but it's a lot of them. But I have met some very welcoming people, different cultures, not just Caucasian people. I've met Asian people, um, Latino, 
you know, a lot of different people and they are welcoming. So I would just say, because it's a predominantly white school, that's the only reason why I'm saying like, most of my classes are obviously predominantly white. So I'm just saying like, it's not welcoming all the time. The teachers aren't welcoming all the time. And yeah, I would just say, stay true to yourself, black queen. Like once a few you need to stay true to yourself, but it's okay to open up to different cultures. Like if you wanna be a balanced, well-balanced person that's able to mingle with every race i feel like you know pwi is a great choice for you to do that so we're just gonna move on to the next topic it was campus life at eiu so this is my senior year and i will say the last two years is when our school has started doing more events and stuff before i came to school people were telling me that the school used to be known for having a lot of events or whatever but i guess it slowed down for some reason it's like we became less students or whatever but now it's even the school like the african-american um organizations they be having events and stuff i just don't be going because i be busy sometimes or i be forgetting but that's on me but they do have events that y'all can go to I go to some events, but now that they got class there, I don't really like to go out there. So, yeah, it's events that you can go to. It's a good way to make friends and stuff. What else would you say about the events? Um, that's a campus. Yeah, that's that's one aspect of campus okay. life. Well, um, for campus life, you can make your own groups. You can also. Yeah, campus. I was about to say, I was about to say something, but then I just forgot. The school be having a couple events sometimes, like maybe low-key boring sometimes, some weeks, but then they will pop out with like a little event for like maybe you have a self-care day and they'll have like a little event on in the quad or whatever. Like they have little cute oh. events that they do oh, and stuff like that. We do have attorneys and sororities for people who don't think we have it. Um, yeah, almost we all have PWIs have it. We have we have everything except for AKs. We have the Delta Sigma. And the Alphas. Alpha, Iola, Q's, um, the Poodles. And I think they it. And then we have like a Latina um, sorority fraternity. They're both both genders. So, and then we have, it's a lot of, um, you know, <laughs> So, yeah. I'm just telling you like the minority ones that I do know of. So yeah, those are the ones. And we have BSU, NAACP, Black Student Union, National African American um, Association, Colored People. That we have them. Modeling team. We have a couture team, mm -hmm. and then um, there was a major team that we made, but there might be another one. So yeah, so there might be another major team. I'm not sure, but we don't have a major team right now. Um, there's an ASA dance team. That's the African dance team. Um, it's a whole lot of little cute things that they have on this campus. Like, they have like yeah. a club where you can read books, a club where you can be around animals, a marketing um, organization. It's just like a whole lot of stuff that you can get into. You'll probably never be bored. You just have to look into it. We have a website that's dedicated to all of the RSOs on Cafe, so you should check that out if you're interested in it. And also was a sorority fraternity. They do have events like you know meet the Greeks. Yeah. Um, the, Greeks. the probates. They have a lot of events. They have like pie events. Yeah. Um and also on campus we do have a library and we have like a student union where people hang out there or whatever with their friends. So if y'all want like little places you can go on campus where you can hang out with your friends or whatever, they have the union which has restaurants. Chick fil A, um, a sushi place. It's a sushi place. It used to be a subway, but it's not subway no more. And then they just have these unknown character grill, um, the other place. Yeah, this is a good. They have burgers and stuff. Yeah. Their food is still good. I love their turkey burgers. And yeah, it, it, the union is big as fuck, honestly. So the MLK union, they have restaurants, but then they also have like um, little auditoriums in there where they be having like events and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the place where you can hang out. And the library is a big, big library. They have Apple computers, laptops. They have a, um, people who into YouTube and stuff. They have this one little section for students that want to do graphic design and stuff. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but you can look it up online. They have like a whole little place for that. And we also do have a bowling alley. Alley, yeah, we have our own bowling alley. And I believe it's, it closes at like 9 every day. Uh, I sure. think it closes at 11 sometimes. 10 or 11. 
Yes. And they have cosmic balls where it's like they do it in the dark where the lights come on and stuff. Go in the dark. Yeah. That's so about it. I think that's good. And you know we have dining halls. We have three dining halls. Taylor Dining, Thomas Dining, and Stevenson Dining. Stevenson has, they're all open to breakfast, dinner, and lunch. You get swipes, uh -huh. a meal plan where it's, I think it's up to 12. You can choose though. It's cheaper if you get um, less food swipes. So if you get seven, that means you get more money. Like dining dollars, not, is it like dining dollars? Mm -hmm. You get dining dollars. So if you get, say for instance, I get seven swipes only. So I can only swipe seven times throughout the week. I get 200 dining dollars, which I, means I can spend that at the student union and buy like Chick-fil-A and stuff. So it's, you can look into that also. So that's like a little cute thing. But do. also if you don't really like to eat school food, then I would advise you to get the lowest one because yeah. then you can go get Chick-fil-A every day or whatever else you want. Know. Yeah, but that y'all need to watch it, you know, how y'all be using that money because me personally, yeah, I, I be using going it the beginning of the school year, my stuff be gone by a good November, October because I'll be going all the time. Because I know the lowest one, they give like $200 which lasts for a whole semester almost. Mm -hmm. but and with the dining halls, um, Thomas is usually like the pizza place. Yeah, they have late night pizza. And then, um, People hang out at yeah. that time too, late night pizza. So I don't know if they still do that, but when I was a freshman, it used to be busting, like a lot of people. Taylor is the chicken place. Chicken strips, they have, you know, chicken. A little bit of their menu. Like they they also have tacos, menu. like every Tuesday. And yeah, they have tacos, burgers. Like, I wouldn't, a lot of people like the school food. When I first got here, I liked the school food because I wasn't, I don't know. It was like, when you used to like a whole buffet every day, like you can have anything you want, waffle, cereal, pancakes, and everything. You just like, okay, what, are, like, I can have anything. So when I first got here, I really liked the variety of stuff, but after a while, it's like, they kind of got like the same type of food, you know? Yeah, they do recycle their food every month or every week. But my favorite um, place is Stevenson because they have good omelets. Shout out to my yeah, guy. Yeah, they have a breakfast place. The breakfast place. The, this man made the best omelets at Stevenson. I'll give this man. Oh, they do have reservation dining. Let me know if you say Yeah. It. Where you basically, like on Fridays and Thursdays, you go eat dinner. Like they make you dinner like at a restaurant and it'd be decorated and stuff. And they seat you. They give you yeah. a menu. They have dessert. And everything, you just go with your friends. You can reserve it online because they have a little link you can press and sign up for you and your friends. And you can just go and just be with your friends and eat. So I think that's really cute. Yeah. Have. And they do be dressed up and stuff. Like they put on their fits and, you know, they actually act like they waitress and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's for people like, you know, you're a college student, so you kind of don't really get that much money. So if you want to get like that, even if you got like a little boo or something, you want to go to Reservation Nine, that's a good idea to just, you know, you know act like you at a restaurant. It was just cute. Yeah. Is that if you can't feel Oh, we have, yeah, y'all already know we got a football team, that's about it. And stuff like. Oh, uh, yeah, football, basketball, um, track. Um, track. Um, yeah, we have, we have soccer. We have soccer. What don't we have? We have volleyball. Mm -hmm. We can't have every sport. Yeah, we definitely do. I would say this, we get free tickets to the football games. I'm not sure if it's, I think that's like that for every sport, right? We get free tickets. Yeah. Yeah, so you get free tickets to every school, um, athletic event or whatever. So I think that's, you know, we should get free. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the teams aren't that bad, I guess. Like, the football team is a little bad a little bit, but they be winning sometimes, I guess. Yeah. No, they're pretty trash. Um, what was one thing I was say? Oh, people who want to be into art and design, like people want to be dressing up and stuff. They're doing the, the, the place, whatever. Oh, yeah. Like, people want to do music and stuff, like arts and stuff. And they do have events like theaters and stuff. Like yeah, art. I will say our school is into like the whole um, artsy and stuff like that. Like, they have a pottery thing up in Dunda. Dunda is like a place where they have classes for people who are the arts majors or who want to be into fashion and design and stuff like that so in there they also have a club for it also I think it's merchant fuck I don't even want to say it because I don't remember where it but they have that inside of Dunda it's really cute I really like that building because you can take cute pictures it's so cute up in yeah. there yeah um yeah if you want to get into all of that stuff they did our school has that so just look it up if you want to know what our school has to offer for classes and majors and things like that I think that was it for camps. Like we basically talked about the dorms, food. Yeah. Um, we talked about the turning sororities. And the next one was next one. Yeah. Uh, so she wanted to know about the dorms specifically. Um, like what's closer to certain things. So um, 
Yeah. Let me see. Me personally, freshman year, I didn't want to live in like the South Quad. South Quad is basically Andrews, Taylor, Thomas. Thomas. It's only the three. Is it Lawson? Oh, Lawson. It's four. It's four. Yeah, it's them four. And basically, that's where all the freshmen be. All, most of the freshmen go to Taylor and Lawson and Andrews. It's all girls. So Andrews is all yeah. girls. Thomas is, I think I want to say all boys, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he has a girl set, so it's girls and boys at Thomas. Lawson is co ed. Um, Taylor is co ed. Andrews is the only all girls, but yeah. mm -hmm. on the whole campus. Trey, all the Trey mm -hmm. is Ford, um, Weller. What's left? McKinney. Oh, McKinney. And then right the there. Oh uh, yeah. And then um, and then try it. They have like a computer um area over there where you can go and do your homework, whatever. And then Stevenson is its own thing. Mm -hmm. Stevenson has a semi-private bathroom, so it's sweet. Yeah, yes. sweet. It's sweet. Um, so it's three people in a room usually, but sometimes there can be six. But as of recently, it's only been three because of COVID stuff. And they share one bathroom. And then there is And then he comes to the common area, your yeah. own private common area. And then with Douglas, it's usually like the sports teams. Yeah. But it's I, all boys, actually. Yeah. That's all boys. I don't know what's in there. Mm, is that they're, my private they're all bathroom? connected. They're all Stevenson, connected. Douglas, and Lincoln are all connected. It's just they're different buildings. You know what I mean? So they all have the same Because they have access. Lincoln can come to Stevenson. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying do they all have the same stuff in it? Um Lincoln, yeah. Douglas don't have nothing in it, but just they're doing it. No, I'm saying like the semi-private bathroom is like, it's sweet. I know, they don't. It, like, uh, remember we seen the my room, the bathroom Oh, so outside? it's regular. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Douglas and Lincoln, they are regular dorms. Dorms, like, um, Taylor. Community staff. Yeah, community staff. Um, Ford has semi-private bathrooms, too. That's one of my favorite ones. Ford. Um, Weller is shared bathrooms, communal. Um. They don't have McKinney. carpet on their floors, also. Yeah, McKinney, I haven't been to a bathroom in a while. McKinney, I have been to McKinney. I think it's, it's, they're all the same, yeah. Except for Weller. Weller is community style, and it's it's real dirty in there. So I, I was there my freshman year. I didn't really like it because the girls was very trifling, so I would just put that out there. Yeah. If you want to stay away from Weller, if anything, you want to go to the rest of them. If you want to be around a lot of people, go to South Quiet. That's where a lot of people are going to be. It's going to be like 40 people on each floor. If that's where you want to be, but if you want to be less people, you'll go to the Triad. Like yeah, and on the South Quiet, you all have to share two bathrooms. So keep that in mind if you don't want to have the share like a three or four stalls in each bathroom, then mm -hmm. that's probably not the space you want to be in. Um, oh, and Taylor, they have stuff in Taylor. Oh, it's um the... No, what was the freaking restaurant again? We just talked about it. Taylor, um... Taylor Dining is in Taylor. Yeah, so you just and walk Thomas, downstairs. Yeah, and Thomas is Thomas Dining. Mm -hmm. And then Stevenson has Stevenson. Andrews Dining. is also connected downstairs to um, Thomas Dining. So if you don't want to walk far and it's starting to get cold outside, so I would recommend that you stay in those three, those four dorms. because Or Lincoln and Douglas. You could just go downstairs. But yeah, those are... Suggestive if you want to just walk downstairs and eat food. But also, if you don't want to walk that far to class, it's probably not the best idea to be in a South Quad because it is a little bit far from most of the classes that you have to take. Because only in the South Quad, it's only um, dorms over there, and all the classes are just like a unless a you're a business, business major. But if you're a freshman, you're gonna have to go all the way down there, so you need to go get yeah. The walk is not that bad, y'all. I'm telling you, like, it's not that bad, but if, if you if you want to take early classes or whatever, then don't do it. But if you have like later classes in the day and stuff, then sure. Yeah, when I used to live in Taylor, it's not like other schools. The HBCUs, people have to take the bus, walk a good 20 yeah. minutes. The walk is a good 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, definitely. And they have a shuttle bus. So when I lived in Taylor, Taylor I used to take the shuttle bus. I used to take the shuttle bus to um, the geology, geography department. And then, well, that's not the name of the building, but yeah. And it's just a shuttle bus that'll take you to different places. Oh, and there is work study jobs. You can work at Taylor, Thomas, um, Stevenson. You can work at any. You can work at the library. Yeah, you so. can work at any place. You can work at the library. You can work in the chemistry department, geology department, 
you can work in um, any office, any office on campus, honestly. Mm -hmm. And also our campus does have churches, like it's um, X Church, which is a black family church. And they have a Christian church. Um, well, that school, that church is Christian, but the title, the name of the other church is called Christian something, I don't know. But yeah, it's a couple of churches on campus that you can go oh, to. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Stevenson, you can't live there until you have like 20 credits or until you're a sophomore, I believe. So, yeah. a lot of you freshmen won't be able to apply for that unless you have already credits and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's just campus life. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to get to like... If y'all want to know more stuff, we're going to do a part two. We're going to get more in depth about a couple of things yeah. if y'all want us to. But this is just like service level basic information that we feel like y'all should know. Because I look up YouTube, when I looked up YouTube videos about EIU, I didn't see a lot of information that was very beneficial as for a black girl like ourselves. So mm -hmm. us making this video, we want to let y'all know what's really going on at this school. If you should go here or not. Based on this information, y'all can take it or you can leave it. And yeah. And we also have off-campus housing. Yeah. When you become a sophomore or whatever, when you get the credit, same thing for students, same, same requirement. And we actually do live in off-campus off apartments, so if y'all want to see what that is like and what comes with that, the price and everything, then let us know in the comments or whatever. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And leave comments below for what you want to know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch our last two videos. And go follow us on TikTok. And what, what, Instagram. What's the last thing I'm going to say? I don't know. I'm to say something. Oh, and if you want to see the um the campus tour, we did post a video our like two years ago, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's still it's good. still up like, there. Yeah. So you can go watch that if you want to see how the campus looks. It's still available to watch. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.